Hello everyone welcome back to Take It Simple. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Photos. Keep watching the video till the end without skipping and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss another update from us. In order to use Google Photos make sure you've downloaded Google Photos on your phone. Go to your Play Store and type in Google Photos and search. This is the app that we are looking for, tap on the install button and download it on your device. Once you have the Google application on your device, you can use Google's free service stores and organize every photo and video that you shoot. Google Photo is also known as one of the best photo stories and sharing sites around the world. Once you have the app installed, tap it open. After you type, open the application tap on the profile icon in the upper right corner and then tap on sign in and sign into your Google account. Start by entering your email or your phone number on the sign in page. Now tap on the next button and then type in the password for your account. You can double check your password by tapping on the show password box and once you're done entering the correct password, tap on the next button. Tap on I agree from the page and then you can turn on the backup for your Google Photos. Now choose your backup option from original to high quality. You can choose to backup over mobile data when there is no Wi-Fi available on your device. To do so enable the button. After you're done, tap on confirm. Now you can go ahead and navigate your image as soon as Google Photos open by default. Google Photos open in the view of a photo which organizes images and videos by date with the newest ones on the top and the oldest ones at the bottom. When you tap, open an image, you'll be able to see several options at the bottom of the screen. You can share your photos by tapping on the share button and send them to another Google account or to any other apps. You can edit your pictures by tapping on the edit button at the bottom of the screen and then enhance your pictures. Give them warm toner, a cool tone according to your choice. You can go ahead and crop out the unwanted parts of your picture. To make it look perfect you can go ahead and try out lots of editing features from your Google Photos. Try out the filters which will make your picture look more alive just like that when you bring up your individual picture. You can go and tap on the lens button at the bottom and it will analyze the photo and provide search results of similar images from around the web. Google Photos have other smart features as well it has the robust search option which is a major draw for the platform. It lets you search for generic subjects like dogs or beaches. Go to the search box and type in dogs for example. After you do that you'll be able to see all the pictures of the specific name that you have stored on your Google Photos to date. It also gives you the option to identify people in your photos by manually putting a name to the face. Pick a certain face and then add a name to the picture. Tap on adding a name and then type in the name of the contact and after you do that pictures with those people are automatically shorted. So you can later search for pictures featuring specific people. For example, let me go and type in the name of the person, I just added and you'll be able to see all the pictures from that person listed below. If you want to delete a particular image of photo then go tab open the photo and tap on delete at the bottom right from the pop-up. Select, move to the bin, and that way you'll be able to delete your pictures from your Google Photos as well. That is how you can use Google Photos. I hope you found the video useful. If you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or feedback. I'll be back soon with more tutorial episodes again. Thank you for watching.